Hey guys, it's Doris from Look Amazing and I'm back with another Best of Beauty video. And today's topic is actually something you guys had requested. So I'll be chatting about the top five best mineral sunscreens that don't leave a white cast. And if you guys are just joining in on the Best of Beauty series, we pretty much pull together all the top selling products from different retailers, as well as ones that are highly raved about by editors and influencers and we pick the top five, which I then try out and let you guys know what I think. So I'm really excited about today's topic because I feel like we found a lot of good ones. So I used to only use chemical sunscreens and actually really prefer the ones from Asian brands because they were a lot more lightweight and sheer. You didn't really actually feel like you were wearing any sunscreen. And I did a video on it, which I will leave for you guys here because at the beginning of that video, I do talk about a little bit more on the basics of understanding what to look for in a sunscreen. And I won't be repeating that here again, so definitely check that out. And for me, I started switching over to mineral sunscreens when I got pregnant. So I've tried out a lot of these products in a couple rotations now. So I'm really excited to share with you guys what I think. And as always, if I missed anything or if you do have any questions, definitely let me know in the comments below. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump right in. So all the sunscreens I will be talking about have an SPF of 50 and they all use a combination of titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. The first one I have here is the Aven Ultra Light Hydrating Sunscreen Lotion. And this one is indeed very sheer and lightweight and I love how it just easily glides onto the skin and it actually absorbs quite quickly. So what I noticed was that if I didn't rub it in and kind of evenly blend it before it fully dried, it did leave just a slight bit of white cast, but if I do it quick enough and make sure to rub it in evenly, then I don't see any white cast. So I do feel this one is really nice and hydrating. My skin doesn't feel dry and it doesn't feel oily at the same time because it does dry matte. So it just feels really nice and comfortable under makeup. It is infused with antioxidants as well as the Vents Thermal Spring Water, which I love using that mist just to refresh my makeup and hydrate my face. So I just love that it's part of this one. And it is water resistant up to 80 minutes. So it's a really good one that I actually wear a lot when I'm active outdoors. I feel like it holds up really well and I don't feel like my face is really oily afterwards. And lastly, it's also great for those of you guys who have sensitive skin. Next one I have here is the La Roche Posay and Helios 50 Ultra Light Sunscreen Fluid. And I have to say this is fairly similar to the Aven one in terms of texture. It's lightweight and absorbs into the skin really quickly and it dries into a nice matte finish. I have to say the only difference is that this one, when I'm rubbing it into my skin, it does feel a little bit more kind of minerally or sandy, that kind of texture. So it does leave my skin feeling a little bit more dry. So for those of you guys who have oily skin, this might be a good option to check out. And this one is also water resistant up to 40 minutes. So overall, really nice sunscreen and it doesn't leave a white cast. I just say for me, if I'm wearing this, I usually try to go for it when my skin is feeling a little bit more on the oily side. Next one I have here is the Murad City Skin Age Defense Broad Spectrum. And this is the pricier one out of all the ones I'm talking about. So I had high expectations for this one and I did live up to it because this texture is really nice and silky, lightweight, almost like you're applying a moisturizer. Actually, I would say a tinted moisturizer because it does have a tint to it, which really nicely evens out the skin tone. And overall, when I'm wearing this, I don't feel the need to have to wear BB cream or foundation over it. It just makes your skin look really good. And also, it is one of the few American sunscreens that I've seen that has a PA rating on it. So this is PA 4 pluses on it. And it also helps protect against blue light from your devices as well as pollution and it also has vitamin C to help brighten up your skin tone. So out of all of them, I would actually have to say this is probably my favorite because after wearing this, my skin just feels really nice. It doesn't get too dry or too oily and it feels just right. What I have here is the It Cosmetics Anti-Aging Armor. This is also another really great one that offers color correction like the Murad one, so it is tinted and the pigment will just adjust to your skin tone, which I think is really cool. So this is one that I also go without wearing foundation or BB cream. It just looks really nice and natural. Doesn't feel too oily and it is 
actually quite nice and hydrating because it does have some skincare benefits. So it has hyaluronic acid as well as antioxidants and peptides. So just overall really nice product. So if you guys don't want to splurge for the Murad one, I definitely highly recommend this one. And in terms of the texture, I actually have to say it's in between the Murad and the Aven one. So it's not as sheer and lightweight and silky as the Murad, but a little bit more so than the Aven. So yeah, I hope that's helpful. <laughs> Lastly, I have the Etude House Sunrise Mild Airy Finish. Also another great one that's actually quite affordable. And this one's texture is a milky texture and very lightweight, similar to the Aven one. And it does have some moisturization properties. So it has aloe and hyaluronic acid. So I feel like it feels really nice on my skin. It actually has a refreshing scent. The other ones don't quite have a scent, but this one has a little bit of a refreshing scent to it. And it just leaves my skin feeling not too dry and not too oily. So I love using this one as a primer and just overall really price friendly as well. Overall, I would have to say they all pretty much lived up to their promise of being lightweight as well as leaving no or very, very minimal white cast. So I feel like any of the five are great to try out. You pretty much can't go wrong. It's more about finding which one is better suited for your skin type. So I recommend that you try out a few before seeing which one works best. So I hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, make sure you leave me a thumbs up as well as a comment down below to let me know what you guys would like to see in the next Best of Beauty video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.